Everyone's been talking about you and Wade. They're saying you tossed a salad. I mean, I've never even heard of dressing someone salad. We were only gone for like a minute. Yeah, that's long enough for Wade. We're back. Another review today. I'm here to give you the only opinion you're going to need on this movie. Mine. Yes, God, yes is the story of a horny teen at religious school. One of the Jesus ones, not really sure which. She's curious to learn more about sex, but doesn't want to be seen as the only one in the school who would dare to sin in such a way and risk burning in hell for all eternity. So she goes on the school retreat, basically Jesus camp, quickly finds out that it's pretty much just people hooking up and watching porn. All right, so this isn't necessarily an original premise, but the movie itself, not bad, if I do say so. Natalia Dyer, who plays Alice, the lead, is great. Noticeably the best actor in the movie. The hot kid she has a crush on. I mean, okay, hold on. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? I mean, sweetheart. <laughs> He's out of your league, baby. Am I right? I... <laughs> Guess this guy's name. Look at this. Look at him. Look at... Guess what his name is. Wolfgang. <laughs> Come on. Leave some for the rest of us, man. Good Lord. Jesus Christ. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah. Actors, some, something about actors or the plot, I don't know. But you know who else is in this movie? Tim Simmons. I, all right, I don't know who that is, but are you going to look at this guy and tell me that he's not trying to go as Henry Cavill for Halloween? Tim, honey, you're not fooling anyone. Nice try, but you're not fooling anyone. One of the reasons I like movies like this is that they examine how, as kids, we feel like everyone who's an adult is larger than life perfect. And as kids... At Jesus camp or not, sex is presented as taboo, at least here in America. And in this instance, this girl is just curious, but she can't um, explore that curiosity because she's worried she'll be betraying Jesus or something. I don't know. There's parts of religion that I really don't understand. Here's the thing. As you get older, you sort of realize that no one has their shit figured out. This film reminded me a lot of movies like Lady Bird, Superbad, it's also got a really similar writing style and just overall atmospheric vibe to the other Netflix show, Teenage Bounty Hunters, which definitely shouldn't have been canceled. I think if you like those teen angst, coming of age, comedy, drama type of movies or TV shows, you'll definitely like this one. Check it out. Thanks for watching.